often, we dog trainers are accused of having no makeup skills and no fashion sense. Well, let me tell you, that couldn't be further than the truth. In this video, I'm going to be going through the dog showing world's makeup do's of the season. I'm going to go ahead and kickstart this off with the agility look. With agility, I think the main thing is those red cheeks. I'm going to grab my blusher. I'm not really sure how to use this, let's be honest. Does that show anything? Oh, the balls are going everywhere. Is that nice? Yeah. That nice blotchy tone. Get up around the eyes. It's quite dusty. It's looking good. Right, so what we're trying to achieve here is a combination of a sunburnt and windburnt look. So if you get this nice dark blusher just all over this kind of area, especially on your nose, we can achieve that look. The darker the better, because that shows you're a real agility competitor. Let's try and get that ball back in. Oh no, I've lost the ball. So to really enhance this look, I've just got a bit of um, lipstick. I'm just gonna apply this on the nose. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. So I've just applied that there and I'm gonna rub that in. Amazing. And then across here as well. You can apply as much or little as you want. If you have red hair and pale skin, then the darker you go, the more it will complement this. Nice. Really, really try and get it on these cheekbones up here, but don't go too close to the eye because we want that nice yellowy pale bag underneath the eyes just to make it look very authentic. Fantastic, this is looking great. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take some blue and apply this to my lips because. To be involved in dog agility, you have to go out in the blistering cold. So this blueness of the lips just shows how cold the environment is. Really nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bit of moisturiser and blend this into my lips. Oh, note to self, never put moisturiser on your lips. Ugh, disgusting. So it creates a nice, subtle, bluish tint. Try and get all the lumps in so it's nice and even and natural looking. This is looking great. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply some dirt tints to my skin. If you want to add the extra step and actually put bits of real dirt and grass on your face, this will make it even more authentic. So I'm going to apply this in lines across my face and then I'm just going to get a nice big brush and blend it in. And get some pale eyeshadow and just apply this underneath your eyes just to really enhance this pale bit here and create that tired I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to attend this freezing cold show effect. I'm gonna take this one step further as well and just add a slight crease here. Right, there we go, absolute perfection. This is my agility look. So I might have come 45th, but it's because of all those damn collies. Right, we have a slight issue in the fact I don't know where the um, makeup remover is. Ugh. Okay, next up we have handling and breed showing. Here's a spoiler, this one's grandma's favourite. God. This one we start off with a nice foundation, we don't want any spots showing. You just apply this all over your face. Don't worry about contouring, we just want one shade here. So a nice beige colour is exactly what we want. Blending isn't particularly important. Go, nice. If you're doing this and it leaves a little pash showing, all the better, really. Serving up 
grandma realness here. All right, that's probably good enough. Remember with breed showing and handling, it's all about the dog, so less is more. Right, on that note, we're gonna get some eyeshadow. Beige, beautiful. Nice, see that? Oh no, it just adds to the moustache to be honest. Not the end of the world. Right, so see this? Nice sweeping motion here. Lovely. Yeah, that's about even. Um, no, it isn't actually. Well, that definitely isn't even. Uh, sorry, I can just fill it in. Good enough. What I'm going to do here is create grandma's favourite colour beige. So I start off with an underlayer. See that is quite mediocre, but not quite mediocre enough. So I've got some eyeshadow just to dull it out a bit. It's better. Finally, I'm just going to grab some of this concealer again. Just go over it. And there we have grandma's favourite beige, mascara time. When we apply this, clumps do not matter. Spider's legs are winners. What we want is a really, really natural look here. All these natural colour tones, using a natural palette. There we go, incredible. My dog, champion Princess Felicia, has won Best Bitch in Show, four years running at the Ladies' Kennel Association. Right, I was going to do Who Watch Music next, but this works perfectly for my disc dog one. So as you can see, I applied mascara and then I wiped it off and it gave this lovely, lovely black eye look, which is exactly what we want. I'm gonna apply some winged eyeliner. Now the key here is actually to not get it even because disc dog people tend to be young and quirky and they don't care what they look like. They're all about realness. Fantastic. So next we're gonna get some blood red. I'm gonna use it like blood. So put it in your nose, in your lip. My dog misjudged his jump and he hit me in the face. We can add even further to this, so we can add some scratch marks on your face. What we love about this dog is that your dog gets to beat you up as much as they want. And we can all just say, oh, it's because they misjudged their jump. Or, oh, they're too enthusiastic. Dude, your dog just literally threw itself at your face. You're all bust up, but no, your dog misjudged its jump. <laughs> like the agility, a little bit of mud won't go amiss. And actually you can create a paw print shape out of mud. Put that on your face. Blend it a little bit. So that's the time when Fido tried to do a back vault accidentally ended up vaulting off your face. But don't worry, it's all good fun and games and at least the dog had fun. <laughs> I got 400 pounds worth of discs imported and in two days, my dog lost every single one of them. The black eyes, the bust lip, the broken nose. Yes, I suppose I am in an abusive relationship with my dog. May have gone a little bit overboard with that one. Ah, it's in my eye! <laughs> that is, it's not even, I'm, uh, it's not even makeup remover, it's just face wash. It's behind my contact lens. The abrasion is wiping my skin away. <laughs> My other eye. 
<laughs> You'd think I'd learn. This is so disgusting. As someone who very rarely wears makeup, the idea of all this being on my skin just gross. Work to music and freestyle as well because I actually don't do heel work to music, I do freestyle because I can't teach my dogs how to do heel work. It's great living by an airport because I'm doing my videos and then suddenly it's just like, <sighs> like, dude, can you please have consideration? I'm trying to do a video here. What's more important, flying people to some destination? or me talking to like 20 people on YouTube. Get your priorities straight. The thing about Who Works Music is more is more. Is more, is more, is more. Is more. If you're dancing to Mary Poppins, if you're dancing to Annie, if you're dancing to The Lion King, it's all about that glitter. Even if your makeup is not at all related to your music, just smother yourself in glitter because it's cool. It's like your one chance to look like a complete freak from Cirque du Soleil in public. Glitter. So let's start off with the eye. Ah, my sore eyes. If that abrasion wasn't enough, this certainly is. Amazing. That is cool. Oh, actually let's include the eyebrow in that as well. Shine brow. That was cooler in my head. Amazing. Right. Normality is not my strong suit, so apparently undoing lipstick is also not my strong suit. Don't even know how I did that. This ruins my plans. Selfish. Oh, and here are the planes again. Solution. See, gold on one side, silver on the other side. So even if your dog runs off and does a poo, the judges will still remember you. This actually looks so cool. I would definitely wear this out. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks amazing. So then, I'm also gonna get some of this and apply it to my lips. Remember that blood red that we had for the disc? Well, it's back. And this time, it's personal. That looks amazing. Cool. Here's the thing about Who Works Music and Freestyle. Just let yourself go. Go on, treat yourself. What should I do with this colour? Should I put it on my forehead? Oh! It can be a flower. Oh my god. This is your time in the limelight, so you have to make sure you stand out. The only thing that's making me stand out right now is this frickin' massive spot. That's cool, I can turn it into something. Make the most of your adversities. What song am I dancing to? Mission Impossible. Can't you tell? That's James Bond. What's Mission Impossible? No, that's James Bond. That's also James Bond. I don't actually know what Mission Impossible is. Is Mission Impossible James Bond? It isn't. Is it? It's an actual question, lots of people ask it. Mission Impossible James Bond. Oh no, it's not. No, it's it's a different oh, full theme. Do 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 do. It's fully breaking my heart to take this off because it looks so cool. That is the coolest look. Frame that, put it in the tape museum. Finalement, we have the obedience handler. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of love here. Mm. And there we go. Now, I'm not usually one to be all fancy and stuff, but this is the final look cruft, so I do have to make myself look a little bit polished. Thank you for watching that. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it a little more than my complexion did. If you have any ideas for my next video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you thought this was funny, then please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.